Hi friends, today we're taking you on a tour of this incredible home listed right here in Little Valley Knolls at an incredible price point for a home with a pool. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. One of our clients requested a video tour of this home, but we figured that some of our other YouTube subscribers may find this video helpful. But before we dive into it, I would like to thank the listing agent, Brian Burnett, and the seller for allowing us to, to tour this beautiful home today. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the Knolls at Little Valley is a community that's kind of elevated up above Little Valley, it has a proximity to some of the best schools, and it's literally right in the middle of everything. It's really close by. This property, I'll have to double check on the MLS. I think it was built in 06. I should have prepared a little better. Uh, it has kind of the, the style of the era. So brown stucco with brown stone on the outside. Um, really nice tall ceilings in the living room and this grand entryway. I think the curb appeal is really solid for this home. And if you turn around, um, you'll see that we're at the end of a cul-de-sac that comes off a side street and every home in this neighborhood just looks incredible. Beautiful landscaping all around. Everybody really takes good care of their property. As we come in, you will notice that Michonne's filming me right now and our daughter, Oksana, is also at work with us. So please excuse her if uh, she wakes up, but she's taking a nap in the living room. So right off the front entry, we have a sitting room, formal, I guess this could be an office or a formal dining room. Light fixtures don't put out a ton of light in this house and it has some of the darker tones from, from when it was originally constructed, but uh, it fits well with the current style of decor. Uh, so this room is probably, I'd say it's probably like 12 by 12 maybe, it's not super big, and it is connected to the kitchen. And then as we go directly across from it, so this is the front entry where we entered, this room is currently used as an office, although it could be used as a bedroom. It is a five bedroom, three and a half bathroom property. So this is currently set up as an office, but this room also has a closet right here. So you could use it as a bedroom if you wish. Okay, let's continue through here so this tour uh, starts to make a little more sense. So what I was telling you guys, we'll, we'll enter back into the living room in just a moment, but this room connects to this hallway. And here we have a little closet that's utilizing the space under the staircase. Directly across, we have another closet. And then there is a bath, if you wanna enter that. So this is just a powder room, right? It doesn't actually have a bath. Yep, it's powder. And this hallway brings us right into a kitchen, dining, living room. So this, this side of the floor plan is pretty open. This floor plan is divided a little bit by um, the staircase that we have here but I feel like the space is utilized really well and this door takes us into the backyard, but we'll explore that right after we um, kind of finish exploring the, the interior of the house. It looks like it has Frigidaire uh, wall oven and double wall oven and a Frigidaire matching microwave gas cooktop. Looks like it's probably all original. Granite countertops. Granite is in really good shape. And I don't know if you could capture these views, you get a little bit of a view. So the views are to the north, right from that uh, kitchen window. You could see Pine Valley Mountain in the distance. And this property is actually really elevated up above the rest of the neighborhood. As we walk outside, you guys will see that, uh, that it, it sits up above on a hill. Uh, newer LG refrigerator, and there is a nice little built-in right here. So all the cabinets are all original in brown wood. I wonder if these are solid doors. They look like they have solid doors. There is a pantry right here. 
and it looks like the sellers also utilized a portion of uh, the mud room, laundry room as a pantry. So it's a pretty okay size pantry. But then you also, as you go towards the garage, there is a laundry room with a sink, room for a washer and a dryer, some upper and lower cabinets and a countertop. This countertop has Formica on it. And then they're also utilizing this area for extra room for the pantry. And take a look at this, it has a built-in ironing board. You don't see those very often anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the garage while we're here. There's a hat collection going on and it looks like one of the bays is being used as a shop. So this is a really spacious two car garage. It feels like it's extra deep and it's extra wide. You could easily park and even a large truck in here. And then this bay goes about another eight to 10 feet deeper. So here we have two water heaters, a water softener and a portion of your furnace system. It's really nice to have it in the garage because it's super easy to access it. And I would imagine if, if you could picture this space without all the racks, uh, it would feel even bigger. But this is, it's nice to be able to see this property uh, with all the stuff moved in because then you get a realistic feel for the space. Okay, let's head back inside and check out the rest of the first floor. So the living room has another closet under the stairs. And I'm glad that this floor plan really utilizes all of this space because often this is kind of just a dead space in the middle of the house. The living room is not, it's not massive, but it connects to uh, the dining room and the kitchen. So it gives it a bigger feel. There is a really tall open ceiling. I would say it's probably what, 20, 22, 25 feet uh, all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. So you get more space that way and the staircase just kind of flows up to the top. And right off the living room, we have a hallway that takes us to the master suite. I really like all the natural light that those windows let in. Um, master suite. And these folks have quite a bit of furniture in here. So if you could picture it without the extra furniture pieces, it has even more room. Uh, this room is painted blue, which is an interesting choice. It actually looks pretty good. And it also has access to the exterior. So you could access the pool right from the master suite. Let's take a look at the master bath. There are two sinks and vanities directly across from each other with two large mirrors. And there is a nice corner jet soaking tub with an obscured window above it. Then directly across from the tub, we have a walk-in shower. It's a little hard to see. The walk-in shower has nice brown tile that goes almost up to the top with a glass door. Then to the side of the shower, we have a water closet. It's a pretty spacious one. And then the closet is also pretty good in size. It's kind of nice to have Michonne film me so you could use me, my body in space for reference. So it's a really good closet, lots of built-ins. And it has two little windows that face to the front of the property. Let's go check out the rest of this house. It sounds like Oksana is just entertaining herself. <laughs> Let's check out the second floor. You get a really nice feel for this space from here too. So this kind of gives you a bird's eye view of your living room. And you can even see the pool through those windows from the top. I don't know if you can, you can kind of can. 
So upstairs, right off the staircase in this direction, we have a bedroom. It's a good sized bedroom. It looks like it has a queen size bed in it right now. And it has a closet. It's a pretty good sized closet. As we move in this direction, this is nice open space. So this hallway doesn't feel so closed in. Directly across, we have another bedroom. This bedroom has the views to the south. So I would imagine this bedroom is probably, would be the hottest one, but um, I have to point out the AC system in this house works really well. It's about 97 degrees outside right now and it feels nice and cool in here. And the home actually smells really good too. Those are the things that you don't typically get to experience for the video. Um, this, this window niche has like a, a built-in bench, which is kind of cool. And there are two large windows. As we move down this hallway, we have a full bath with a dual vanity and a tile countertop. And then we have a room with um, a full bath with tile almost up to the ceiling, kind of shared with the water closet. There are a lot of rooms on this level. Then we have two more bedrooms, one bedroom in this direction. And this is an incredible deal. Um, you get a lot of square footage with this house. Take a look out this window. So there is, looks like there's a vacant lot back there, but the rear privacy of this property is really great because you really are considerably higher than your rear neighbors. So you don't have to, you know, have the fear of somebody building behind you and having their property tower over your home. So as we go down this hallway, we have one more bedroom. This also has a queen size bed and it has two, two sets of closets. They're about your, you know, your average size closets. It's a nice use of space. And then as we head down this hallway, we have one more bathroom and one more bedroom. So this is a full bath with a walk-in shower. And then we have one more bedroom that faces the front of the house. I guess we are in kind of an, in a loft area. I think we're effectively up above the garage here. So the ceiling is slanted and this could be, I guess currently this is being used as a TV room or a theater room. It's pretty good size. You could probably get a bed in here comfortably. It's a little smaller than the other upstairs bedrooms that we have seen so far. It does have a closet. So you could definitely use it as a bedroom or Maybe even an office if you wanted. This is probably the quietest part of the house. It's far away from everything else. We had to interrupt the video because Oksana was starting to whine just a little bit, but she's a really good baby. Let's head outside and check out this beautiful backyard. This is the part that uh, I was most excited about checking out this house. So as we head out through the living room, dining room, um, there is a stub out for the barbecue and there is a dog door that's currently installed. So you can hook up your barbecue. It looks like they have a smoker set up right here and there's a really great amount of rear privacy. And on top of it, off to the side here, we have a gravel space that you could potentially use for parking. Uh, so there's a, there's a gate that fully encloses this area and by law, you're, you're supposed to have your, either your backyard fully fenced in or have a fencing around the pool or have a roll up cover over the pool. So I guess that's, that's the reason why this is fully fenced. Uh, but you could have a gate that opens to that little side parking area. And this lot just feels really massive. I think it's only a, a quarter acre lot, but because this property 
is uh, you know the, the footprint of the property is not utilizing as much as a single story house would. You get this beautiful large backyard. Now, another interesting thing is directly in your backyard is one of the most expensive homes that ever hit our MLS. If you guys are curious, I think it might still be on the market. I'll send you a listing. I think last time this home was seen for five million. I'll, I'll send you uh, an updated link if you're curious, but you have the views of the castle and <laughs> the rest of the backyard is super private. You have a nice large patch of grass. And I guess from this angle, you could kind of see the size of that oversized rear patio. So you have some nice shaded area to hang out. And then here we start with the concrete. There's some zero scape that goes all the way back to that corner. There is a pomegranate tree. Pomegranates grow really well in Southern Utah. And it looks like these guys are already starting to ripen. That's kind of cool. I've never, never lived in the area before where pomegranates could actually ripen and survive, let alone. Uh, so it still blows my mind. This is the door uh, that lets you into the master suite. So pool could be accessed literally right through that door. And here you have a spa. And I would say this is a kidney shaped pool, kidney-ish. Uh, it looks like there's a water feature up above that pool. Turn that on and you'll have some water pouring down those rocks. And there's also a fire feature with a little sitting area back there. And now I'm standing on the deep end of this pool. I'll have to find out for you guys exactly how deep it is. But I would imagine seven feet. It looks like at least seven feet on this end. And Michon is filming me all the way across. You want me to test it out? <laughs> I think I'm dressed for the occasion. So another great thing is all of the pool equipment is tucked away behind this block wall. Back here you have um, the filter, the pumps, the control panel, everything is tucked away. And this little condenser unit uh, must be just for this side of the house. We saw a great big condenser unit on the other side of the house that must run the rest of the house. And this house must have two different climate zones which is a nice touch. This little palm tree might be just a hair too close to the house. Everything looks to be in a really great shape. Uh, just looking at the stucco uh, on the back of the house, I don't see any cracks. The concrete appears to be in a great shape. It looks like a really, really solid home. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like to get a private tour of any of the homes that you see on our MLS, please drop me a comment below this video. We absolutely love hearing from our viewers. I would love to be of service to you. If you haven't done so already, please give this video a like, share it with a friend, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.